place the sky in our image. Here's another um, amazing tool. And here we go, edit, sky replacement, and there's all these skies that you can choose from. Like, it's just incredible. I'm so impressed. Um, so if I wanted these glowy yellow clouds or this kind of cool um, sunset type cloud, if I wanted more of a yellow sky, so that one. And then once you have, you know, the clouds that you're happy with, oops, excuse me. And you can also use the gear to, if you want to bring in to get more skies, you can import clouds too. And you can make it larger or smaller. Oops. Now I was a little bit, I should have um, slowed down a bit because now it's a permanent thing. So I'm going to do Command Z to undo it and let's slow down. So I go Edit, Sky Replacement. Now I'm going to choose my sky carefully have some puffy clouds. Make sure new layer is selected in the preview. I can also change the temperature. So if I want to add more yellow or more blue. I'm not really happy with these clouds. They look so boring compared to what we were before. So here's very dramatic. I can also do the shift edge. Um, be careful with that because then it looks weird. So a subtle amount. I can also do a fade edge. So you can play around with what looks best for you. I can brighten the sky area. Mm. I can make it dark so now it looks very moody. And the scale too. So choose something that looks good for you, and then I press OK. Now, when I did that, look at what happens in our layers. Let's go ahead and pull that out. I had just one um, layer before, but look at all these other layers. It did all of these adjustments. I can turn it off, use it or not use it, use it or not lose it, and you'll still have your original files. So that's key when you do that. So um, make sure that you have a new layer inserted or else it's going to be sandwiched together and you can't edit it. <laughs>